Hello everybody, Minestorm here, and welcome back to City Skylines. In the last episode, we continued working on the area of the map over by where we had put in the new ore mine over here. We added some additional facilities to the ore mine, and we also added in this cargo airport, which appears to be operating pretty well at the moment. Though that plane seems to be just holding short of the taxiway. Ah, there's an incoming plane, that's why. Alright, and then we went ahead and we added it in this large, just general industrial area because we had enormous industrial demand, and um, this seemed to be the only real way to take care of it, at least for a time. So we took care of that, get that all set up. And we set up some mass transit in this area to make sure that it, people can get from the, the core of the city out to this area by bus. So that is all set up. Alright. So, uh, one thing I did mention at last episode was that I was thinking of just disabling the real-time mod that we have been running since we started the game. Mostly since we started the game. Which kind of adjusts how a lot of um, you know, mechanics in the game behave based on time of day. Uh, so I went ahead and did that. And the reason why we were doing that was because it was affecting our ability to function through the night. Um, so... And since we have basically disabled the day-night cycle and everything already, so it just kind of seemed, you know, a bit redundant to kind of have that in there. And, you know, it was you know, really hitting um, the treasury for the city pretty hard. So, I went ahead, disabled that, and I have been running the game forward for quite some time. And we've built up a nice... Uh, balance in the bank and also we, our residents have increased significantly uh, as they continue to fill in this large residential area that we had built a couple of episodes ago and there still is a lot of room in here so still a lot of room for increased population I think go ahead and add in a little bit of a I kind of fill this particular part out over here Oh, I, I probably want to extend this district. Except that uh, that district needs to be extended there. All right. So, the city is expanding pretty well, and we are moving forward to that 250,000 population mark that I had established a little while ago as our goal. And so, we're just going to have to continue working on the city at the moment, and interestingly, we actually have some commercial demand, uh, which is unusual. Um, it's been a while since I've seen any good demand on the commercial bar there, so we may need to add a little bit of a commercial zone to, uh, to fill that in. We need to find a spot we want to put that in. And I think we could probably put a little commercial area here over here. Uh, we do have a power line moving through here, so that might get in the way a little bit, but uh, we can deal with that. In fact, let's take a look at the power situation. Okay. Power coming through there, power coming through here. Let's see, if I were to create a power line over land here. Well, 
have it follow the tree line a little bit and connect in there. Alright, it's energized. So, if I go ahead and delete... See, that's coming from there. And that's providing power there. So, this should be a redundant power line, so we should be able to delete it without any repercussions. There we are. Perfect. So, let's go ahead and fit in a road. We'll follow that ramp there. love to bring it into that intersection, but this cemetery is in the way and I can't move it because it has a bunch of people stored there. So what I may need to do is back this off a bit. And bring this through there. And then I can bring... Dead end road back there. And then from here, we can swing a road through. Through there. It, it ought to work. Also, we already have water in the area, so that's good. So let's go ahead and just zone this in as commercial. I don't think I want to give this any specialization. We'll just leave it as general commercial area for now. Alright, so yeah, they now have a place to kind of grow in as demand dictates. And we are still showing a bit of industrial demand. We're at the 171,000. People still filling in over here. We still got new buildings coming up. That is good. 
Yep, still lots of room for expansion here. And over here, too. So... We have some issues over here. We have dead people at the high school, we have dead people at the university, we have sick people all over the place, for reasons I don't know. Complaining about too much noise pollution. Or they're just sick. Uh, let me just take a look. Um, do we have any pollution issues over here? Pollution. No, there are no pollution issues over here. So, I don't know why we're having lots of problems with sick people. Uh, health. We have issues with health all up and down this particular stretch of the area here, so we may need another hospital. Because coverage does get a little bit thin out of here. So let's see if this helps. Let's go ahead and drop in another hospital. And we'll drop that in right about there. Is there any way that we could improve this? Increase the value of the land to allow buildings to be upgraded. Parks, plazas, and good services. Increase land value. I mean, I guess we could put another park over here. I mean, we have this one little park. I mean, this is just kind of tucked in there. But no kind of real large park area. Well, it does look like some health issues are being taken care of over here. Alright, well, let's go ahead and delineate some roads and then see what we might be able to do. Let's make sure that it actually fits in 90 degrees there. Let's go ahead and remove that. Can I get a little bit of curve in there? Slope too steep. Yeah, we kind of do need to slope down a little bit more. So let's go ahead and push this a little bit, a little bit further down on the slope.
Now we're going to impact there a little bit. Let's see, can I get over... Uh, can I get over? Slope too steep is, is there. Space already occupied. Slope too steep. Can I, can I get over... It'll let me do that. Alright, that seems slightly odd. But we'll go with it. So, I want to do something similar to... Can we go below the... No, no that's going to be too ridiculous. Uh, let's see. Can we come above the tracks? Above the tracks in a way that makes sense? Slope too steep. Space already occupied. Slope too steep. Slope too steep. Space already occupied. Nope, it doesn't look like it wants to do it. Alright, so we're gonna have to... Oh, excuse me. Mm. We're gonna have to kind of just go around the tracks a slight bit. more like that. Now, underground's going to be... It's going to take too much room to do it. It'll do. It'll do. All right. And then we'll bring this there like that. Okay. It's not perfect, but it'll do the job. Looks so like we have a nice kind of open space here. A couple of nice open spaces. Population numbers continue to climb with the 178,000. Let's go ahead and drop in a park. And you know what? Let's make this a little amusement park rather than a standard city park. A small amusement park main gate.
you know, it's not going to have all the amenities, but it'll have some nice... Some nice stuff in here for people to, uh... To partake in. Alright, there we go. Let's get some paths. Are there any, like, little side gates we can do? There is a little side gate. Those are fairly large for side gates. Um, so, I think what we'll do is we'll just come this way. And that way. Let's get a fence around this. Nope, that's not exactly what I want. Okay. So there we have our park entrance. So let's go ahead and get some basic amenities in here. Uh, we're going to do the plaza. It's probably going to be a little bit too big for this little area. I can swing in a cafe. I can swing in a restroom area. And a gift shop. Uh, the game booths. Um, we, could, we could probably do that. Uh, let's see. Can I sneak in a little bit more path over here? And then can I squeeze the game booth in there? I can sneak it in over here. Let's push it as far over as we can. So hopefully I can fit both of them in here. Which it does appear that I can. the piggy train. We can definitely put that in here. For the younger visitors to the park. Let's see, what else could potentially fit? A swinging boat? That'll definitely fit. Even the House of Horrors will fit. It'll fit a little bit further down here on the line. Uh, let's see if I can extend the path. There we are. Bumper cars. That's always a visitor favorite. 
Uh, let's see. Drop tower ride. That... That'll fit. A ferris wheel? The roller coaster definitely not going to fit. The pendulum ride won't fit. But we could get the swinging boat in as the next best thing for that particular type of ride. Uh, the uh, teacups. The picky train. And our house of horrors. There we go. That's that's a bit odd how that pushed in there. Okay, let's see if I can't fix this a bit. You should really be kind of down there. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, it's going to be a bit lumpy. A bit lumpy for these rides, but... See if we can't at least smooth them out a little bit. Okay. That looks pretty nice. So for the rest of this, what we can do is we can just kind of uh, spread some trees around. some slightly different variety of trees we'll just go really really dense in here that may be a tad bit ridiculous trees like uh, that one okay well, it'll be fine Alright, we have lots of entertainment available in there. We just need some visitors, and so far we've only had one. One visitor, so far. But that's fine. We do have a mass transit stop nearby, right there. So that should be fine. Probably just a matter of time for people to get to know that this thing is actually here now and to begin visiting. And we could potentially do another small park over here. I don't know if a zoo would be appropriate in this area. I mean, it's a pretty steep slope. Um, 
It's going to be kind of hard to put in a decent park there that doesn't have anything more than paths in it. Oh, we're already starting to see some improvement in the buildings. Look at this. And it appears to have done the trick. Now... We are still having some issues with dead people. I guess I could always drop in another cemetery and see if that helps slightly. All right, this area is not filling in just yet. Um, this area still has a lot of room to fill in. It looks like that our influx of new citizens has slowed down slightly and we have a massive industrial demand so we may need to throw another industrial zone perhaps some oil industry to uh to expand the city's industry you're complaining about trash There should be plenty of trash pickup. But... That's fine. I can go ahead and throw in... A recycling center right about there. Make sure, of course, that it has water. And see if that helps the trash pick up at the hospital. Indeed it does. Perfect. And one thing we may want to do... Just because it would just make sense... Is connect the road up there. All right, here we go. All right, so as far as the resource map mode goes, we have oil. We have oil over here, but I have to basically would, would need to retool that industrial area again. But we have a big patch of oil over there. But I would need another highway connection before I would be willing to do that. We have some room probably here that we could set up a highway interchange to get a road coming over here to begin setting up some oil industry. So that may be the next thing we want to do. But what I think we'll do has been a fairly successful episode so far is Go ahead and end the episode here. It's a bit shorter than typical, but you know I think that probably this is a good stopping point for us to uh, to then move on to adding some more industry in here and hoping to see if we can't get this number to continue to climb. We're over 185,000 now. We're still plenty of room for more people to move in. We have room here, we have room there. It's just a matter of keeping these demand bars satisfied. In fact, we have a bunch more of commercial demand. So, what we may be doing next episode is putting in a new industrial area over here for oil specialization. You may need to also add in just some general industry with that as well, just to kind of fill in additional jobs. And then we may need to fill in a new commercial zone 
to uh, satisfy the commercial demand. Let's see if we can't keep bringing in more people. Alright, so as we said, we'll go ahead and end the episode here. So, for now, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.